I started in a band, I was a singer in a band, and when we go club to club and we're selling merchandise, I found this thing called the square card reader. When I'm at a club, I could swipe credit cards, sell merchandise, t-shirts and CDs, and loved it. Used it for a few years, awesome technology. The only hiccup I had was that this card reader would spin in the phone or the iPad. So with my kids' Lego pieces, I built like a little prototype and said, I wish I had this, this piece. That's how I came to invent the Square Helper. Once I did, I needed a way to manufacture it, and that's what brought me to MakerBot. When I came up with this widget, I have a giant fork in the road. How do I get it manufactured? And the classic way is to get injection molding. So when I investigated that, $4,000, $6,000 to have a mold made that once it's made, it will always stay that way. And so they're going to charge me for those molds that are locked in forever. And then um, whatever it is, 30 cents a pop for each one they pop out for me. So I'm you know, trying to swallow that and figure, you know, how else can I do it? And, and I'm dancing with the MakerBot idea. And now I can print on demand. I can change it tomorrow. So I have that flexibility. For just around $2,000, I've bought a tool and not a mold. I started off with one MakerBot machine and I did my calculations and I figured out that I can pop out 100 pieces a day and even if, if I run it seven days a week, I have 700 pieces and you know, so I have purchase orders coming in for so many pieces and I figured it out and this will do me right now at this moment. What do I do when I have a purchase order for 2,000 pieces, 3,000, 10,000? I just scale up. You just add another bot next to it and um, as you call it, a bot farm. I thought it sounded funny when, when I did the computation. I said, I'm gonna be running this 24 hours, but I actually run it 24 hours. It is always running. Um, I even have a little D-Link video camera on the platform. So wherever I am on the iPhone or at a web browser, I can see, is that done? And do I need to clear the, the platter and start it to, to set again? But the machine, since I've had it, is an average of at least 20 hours a day, which is crazy. I live right at the point of prosumerism. It's not consumer, it's not professional grade. I'm right in the middle um, where I really can get the most bang for my buck. And that's what MakerBot did for me. It's now arrived to that layer height of 0.1 where it looks beautiful and shiny. It looks like it came from a factory and it didn't look like it came from a garage. I'm making my own products now out of my head right into SketchUp, then over to MakerWare, to the printer, and it's real. I couldn't be happier.